All right, so look at this screaming hot deal right here. This is an incredible little set. It's a quick connect blowgun kit. And I have to see if this will work on your car tires. I don't think it will. But you can buy the little screw adapter part that does work on it. All right. And then they've also got for $4.98 this cobalt digital gauge, tire gauge right here. And you can't beat that price. I would buy like three or four of these. You put one in your glove box, one in your spouse's glove box, your kid's glove box. Uh, the high flow fittings. So you get to choose whichever one of these three you want for $4.98. And they don't have the prices yet on the hammers. It's hammer time. And or the two-piece set here. This two-piece set is a subset of the one I'm going to show you around the corner in a second. They've taken two of the tools out of that kit and put it in here and made it a two-piece set. So I don't know how much they're going to charge for that. They've got the Lufkin deals again. Now these these Lufkins, let me, let me make sure I get the right one here, the Night Eye. Oh, my bad. There's the Night Eye. Now, I've been showing you this all summer since Father's Day. They've had this kit going for $19.98. They tried to originally get it in at $29.98, and then they finally lowered it to $19.98. And we showed it to you numerous times over the summer on our live stream, so you guys are probably familiar with this. But what you're not familiar with is this other one. This is their regular one. These are the yellow tapes. Now, this is a heck of a deal because $14.98. Now, one thing I can tell you about Lufkin's... I've always loved the feel of the way they pull out and just very nice, very silky smooth feel. Let me put that back there, put that back there. Now we have the Skill 30 piece carbide tip router drill bit set. That should cover most of your needs. That's $69. Now I don't follow this particular part so I don't know how good a deal that is. This is a pretty decent deal on the DeWalt here. This is the 14 piece black and gold. Black and gold, baby. So yeah, I've already got one of these in my cart here as part of my Lowe's haul today. Right here. And so let me show you what we have on the other side that's really nifty, nifty, nifty. So this one, you probably saw it in the cart already, $24.98. And it, it may go lower at Christmas time. You know, we don't know. It might drop in price. But the thing is, there's only a few of them here now. And somebody's already bought one, and now I've bought one. So they're, they're going fast when this is probably the first day that these displays have been up. Okay, these Cobalt Sawhorses, these are not really a, a good price. That's their normal price. That's the price we've seen it in here for the last three years, whenever we come in. So, and, and don't count on them getting lower at Christmas they didn't last year either okay so this hex key set here you got SAE and metric 23 pieces and this is now $14.98 so it's five dollars off from where it was before okay and as we come around the other side here oh so they got the little kids tool set here $19.98 Shoot, man, you know what? That's kind of pricey. For that kind of price, just get a real kid. <laughs> uh, this one does not have a price on it yet. This is the Cobalt 65 piece set. So it's got got some ratchet, some sockets there, and it's got mostly the little driver bits there. Now, I showed you on um, one of my videos about Costco a few weeks ago. That $29.99 kit that Costco has for DeWalt, it's a 34-piece, but it's only a socket set. Okay, now this is a screaming, screaming deal for sure, man. $49.98 to get the 20-piece ratcheting wrenches here. So these wrenches, they ratchet on the, the closed-end side there. I picked up a pretty good set of the Craftsman ones, but I, I believe they have the angled heads. The pivoting heads the flexible heads and it was like a closeout because they were getting rid of them and going to the new packaging so this is that toolkit that i told you that two pack around the other corner there was bait was i think all they did was grab two tools out of this one this one is 14.98 this is a really good price because over the summer even right up until probably last week these were 19.98 i bought one of these i think i got the red one 
I got the co uh, not the cobalt. I got the uh, Craftsman one when I bought my kit, and same price. And the same company is making these cobalts and the Craftsman. If you put the packages side by side, they're exactly the same. But getting this for fourteen ninety eight, folks, that is a steal. Uh, twelve ninety eight for this. This is the double drive screwdriver. Yeah. It's ratcheting though. See, so yeah, not too bad. Eh, I'd like to see the price lower, a little, maybe a little lower. This one is a really good deal. I think last Christmas I paid maybe seventeen ninety eight for mine. It was originally nineteen ninety eight, and then they marked it down at Christmas. But now they've got it for twelve ninety eight. This is like a door buster, I think. This is a loss leader. See, because if you were to buy this in channel lock, the channel lock, just the smaller brand, the smaller one right there, the channel lock brand of that would be like thirteen, fourteen dollars on its own. Just the smaller pliers in there. So that's a that is a really good deal on those. I like that. And that's what they have so far. I'm sure they're going to be bringing in more and more as you get closer to Christmas. So I like this. I like what we're seeing here so far. I'd like to see a lot more. I guess the reason why they haven't brought out so many more is because you still got all the Halloween stuff is right here, see? And you can see it's starting to thin out eh, a little bit. They're getting some of their Halloween stuff sold out. So once this area clears out, so here we've got the 80 volt max brushless blower and this is 149 so it's 50 dollars off and we've showed you this before and we've also showed you this too this is the tool tool combo kit here the brushless but you see you're getting a 16 inch trimmer here normally you you're getting them like anywhere from 10 to 13 inches but yeah this is a good model so it's it's a 16 inch and you get a 500 CFM blower 80 max and this one is like pretty much half price folks showing you this one since before Labor Day even in August this was this price here so you got the cobalt 24 volt max blower is $99 from 139 and they're claiming a 700 CFM which I don't really see how you would get that on a 24 volt battery that's some really lofty claims there because I think that's even more than Ego is claiming on their platform. And then I wanted to show you this one here. The Craftsman V20 Brushless Weed Whacker. So this one's a 13 inch. So it's 3 inches smaller than that one I just showed you from Cobalt. But, I mean, look at this. So this one's almost almost half price off there. We do have a couple of hedge trimmers that they've got listed here on sale. New lower price. So we have, this is the 24 volt from Craftsman is at $99 and now you have the cobalt hedge trimmer this is the 22 inch one this is $69.97 so that one's $30 off there here we have the DeWalt Extreme they got the DCD 706 F2 this is the hammer drill and it's down to 119 from 149 so that's a pretty good price to get a hammer drill that cheap of course, the Atomic series is not as good as the XR series, but if you're on a budget, and look, you know, you're getting two batteries with this one, too. You're getting two 2 amp hour batteries, a charger, and a bag, all for $119, so that's like $30 off right there. And then here, they're doing the exact same thing with the Impact driver. So the Impact is the DCF902. And of course the DeWalt DCD701, this is their regular drill driver. This is down to $99. Check this out, they just added this whole clearance section right here. So we got these cobalt gloves, it's a two pack for $9.98, special buy. And these look like they're much more rigid here. These are the open cuff utilities. Oh, these are, I don't know if they're just larger or what. Oh no, they're all the same. Yeah, these are all the $9.98 for these okay now they seem to be undercutting get it cut so they're uh, 9.98 from 15.98 there and they got the Lennox and I like these sometimes you like a fixed blade but if you use these make sure you have a holster to put them in I have a big plastic hard shell holster that I stick mine in sometimes the fixed blades a lot better because the blade is more stable and it and it'll stay in place it won't wobble around on you 
I don't know if these are closeout price or anything or just or on sale. I've never really priced this one. But look at some of these other ones they've got here. This one's $10 off. This is the Salute Mini Folding Knife. SOS. Um, not bad for an Irwin. I like the, it feels okay, but I really like the feel of the Lennox better. Let me see, this one is nine. And see this one here, so this is, oh yeah. So I don't know why they have this one here at $14.98 when they've got this other one over here at $9.98. That doesn't make any sense to me at all. Is it the same part number? Well, when I stack this one up next to the old one here, they're not the same number. But I mean, what difference is it? They look exactly the same to me. I mean, why would you pay $14.98 when you can pay $9.98 for it looks like the exact same knife? Packaging and everything looks exactly the same on it. Holy buck. Check this out. Got a little buck knife here. $9.98. And I'm sorry about the focus. I'm, I might have to get a new um, phone soon because the this thing, the focus on this has just been going crazy lately and I've looked online on the forums and a lot of people are having problems with their galaxy doing that and some people say well if you tap it give it a good wrap or shake it then it resets it but nope all right so these you see they're not showing what the original price was so I'm, I'm always skeptical when I don't see a reference price all right so here you got the two craftsmen are 698 here All right, so they got a larger buck here. This one's forty seventy-eight, seven bucks off. That's a million. Thank you. Now this one's a pretty decent price here. This quick set, look at that man. That's like fifty percent off right there. Boom! Some major savings there if you need a fancy front door handle there. All right, so this is that new charger that, that DeWalt announced back in March or April. Uh, this is the DCB1106. This is the six amp hour charger. I have this charger. This came in our kit that you saw me do the tool review on last week on that new uh, DeWalt DCD999. That's the, the FlexiVolt Advantage, which is Home Depot's sort of version of the power detect. So Lowe's gets the power detect here at Lowe's but Home Depot gets the FlexVolt Advantage so they have this what I don't see is the 12 amp hour charger they have that at my store it's a big yellow thing you can't miss it okay now here we have the new DeWalt five piece oscillating tool set I think it's I still think it's a lot of money 50 bucks so I'm, I'm waiting to see if this one comes on sale and then I'll buy it funny now this is funny if you saw our video that we uploaded the other night um, about that DeWalt woodworking, the three tool woodworking kit. It has this tool in it, the DCS356. It's got this in there, but this is 179 here, of course, for you know with the battery and the charger and all that. But that three tool kit is 299 here at Lowe's. And I'm gonna see if this store has it. I don't think they do. See, because just 50 feet away in this same Lowe's store here in Boca Raton, Florida, on State Road 7, there it is. They've got they got eight of them that's the most I've ever seen of this kit in any one store so that's the kit we did the tool review of the other night and wow what an incredible kit what an incredible bargain and so many of you have reported back to me that you were able to score this kit so if any of you live here in South Florida there's eight of them sitting up top here in Boca this is on aisle 17 and right up on the top shelf there of aisle 17, which is sort of right in the middle of the tool aisle here next to the key kiosk. So man, what a score that would be for some of you lucky guys. I've already got mine, so I'm a happy camper. Hey, we got this 16 gallon Craftsman vac here, marked down for clearance. Clarence, Roger, over. All right. 
like 14 bucks off. All right, now this is sweet right here, dudes. Because right now, as far as I know, this is the least expensive of the cordless, brushless compressors anywhere. $249. So this thing was $269 here. And in fact, so we're up here in Boca Raton, Florida. At my local Lowe's, I'm about maybe five miles away. Um, this one is not even in stock in my local Lowe's. I haven't seen it in actually a couple of other local Lowe's stores that I've been in. So to see it here at this price is pretty good. That is the item number for you, and there's the model number. So there you have it. Now, do we have a price on this 282 piece? Now, I don't think that comes with the box. Oh, that's the gunmetal. Okay, so this gunmetal 282 piece, and I believe it's just the pieces, and I think they're just in trays. Um, I think this was 249 online, if I remember correctly. Don't hold me to that. Now, here's an interesting case here. So we have this one, and this is the 215 piece. It's got SAE in metric, and it does come in the metal three drawer unit here. What is kind of odd is you have this one here for 215 pieces at 199, but then right over here, you've got this other one that's 218 pieces at 199. <laughs> so that's kind of odd that they would have that. And maybe one's replacing the other, I don't know. And we've showed you this several times over the last few weeks that you need to take this and, and look it up online because one of these kits is 129 right now and it might still be when we did our live stream at Lowe's last Saturday a week ago Saturday we showed you this kit and even though all the stores are showing $199 signs in there if you look online it's showing it as 129 online so here's the piece now I don't remember and I was in my Lowe's last night and they actually had the sticker on it saying 129 and so did the one at Pompano when I was there last Saturday doing our live stream it had the sticker saying 129 so make sure you look up for that and where's the toolkit that I like here yeah see these are back I love this kit right here folks this is the seven piece metric nut I have this actually I have the SAE so this one come no oh, well they got these mixed up now okay hang on yeah they got them they got them backwards they always do that so this is the sizes that you get, 3 16ths, a quarter, 5 16ths, 11 32nd, 3 8 7 16ths, and a half. Love this kit. Love it, love it, love it. I use these drivers all the time when I do, like if I'm installing an ice maker, doing work on, on the dishwasher installations and stuff like that. These come very, very handy to just have the exact size ready, ready to rock and roll. What I don't really like, though, is this case. Over time, it starts to get kind of flimsy, and it won't hold them in that much. So what I've done is I've went gotten one of those little Rubbermaid containers, and I just stuck my drivers in there. And I, I'm sort of memorized, so I just know. I go, oh, I need the yellow one. I just grab it. So I don't, uh, you know, use it until it falls apart, and then put it into a container. I love how this Boca Lowe's store here does all of their holiday stuff because like all of the Halloween is right here and look at this I love this beautiful photogenic setup that they made here where you can bring your kids and get pictures and then right opposite right smack dab in front of you is all the Christmas stuff so they used to shove all the Christmas stuff way out in the garden center or, or down the side you know um, these first reads are okay but I prefer these better these look a lot nicer and they're supposed to do something I don't know what Oh, they got these little lights on them, you can see. These look kind of nice. It's got the, uh, here, here's one that's lined up better. It's got the retro truck on there. See, that's what it looks like when you push the button there. And they've got a really nice array of uh, inflatables up top here. We have a 12-foot Olaf at home. That's the, the shorter one. That's a... Probably a four-footer. You got Mickey and Minnie there, Minions. And then as you get over to the left, you get the much more bigger, high-end premium ones there. You got the helicopter. You got the holiday trolley. So they got lots of good stuff. I like that little Grinch there. He's cute. And of course, they got all of your regular standard lights that you see every year. 
But this year, of course, we have the new Disney section. And you know, Lowe's is the only store that sells Disney. And I love the way they did all these with the fur. It's kind of like furry coating on the outside fabric instead of just the cheesy wire frames like, you know, the Olaf, it, and to me, I don't think is all that great. So Lowe's has the exclusive on anything Disney related to Christmas lights here. And here's all of the items that you can get your hands on for now. I always like their street lamp that they do. And then they got that Mickey Mouse head. You can barely see it at the topiary back there. Those are the things that I don't really like outside is these wire frame things. The rope light's okay, but these things don't stand up. You know, they stand up in the store, but wait till you get a little bit of wind. And don't ever buy these spiral trees. Worst waste of money ever. Those things get blown over left and right. I would much rather just get that nice looking neon LED rope light deer right there and just hang it on the outside of your house. Be a lot better. Or you get that big blue snowflake up there, LEDs with the rope light. The rope light's off right now. But you get that and you hang that from your roof and plug it in. They've got some giant reeds and stuff, but these just look kind of uh. What does look intriguing though is that. That wreath right there, it's got like a mirror on the back of it, so it like reflects multiple different times. I might take a look at that one, see if I might buy that one, hang it up. They're artificial trees. Some of them look good, but some of them look, and eh, I mean, now this one here, what's interesting is this is a, a decent tree, because what I like is it has the mini LED lights. So you can set them to be multi, or you can set them to be clear, see? So it has a lot of lights and makes up for the fact that it kind of looks fake, you know. But, let's see, this one's $5.98. So we find that the, the, the ones that have more and better lights cost a lot more money. So this one has 3,000 lights on a 7.5 foot tree, which is why it looks like a, a galaxy. That's, that's why you're paying that, that premium there. And you compare it to this tree next to it. So this has only 1,500 lights, so it's got half the lights of the same height. So you can see it's about half as dense. I don't know, man. Okay, this other one looks kind of nice. It looks like you're outside on a winter's day. It's got those frosty sphere LEDs. This one's 238. It's a seven and a half foot tree. And this one has 400 lights on it. So on this size, I guess it's okay because it's skinnier. But my rule of thumb is, is that on a Christmas tree, you should have 200 lights for every foot of tree, of height. So this is actually kind of nice. It's got the pine cones on it. It's got the bigger frosted LEDs. This is 298. And this one actually looks like really nice and real. This tree would be better if it didn't have these stupid globes on it. I don't know what the heck they were thinking when they put these on there. This tree would have looked a lot better with 1500 of the those tiny micro dots and they also have really skinny ones if you have a limited space in your apartment or you're in a studio small one bedroom apartment deluxe eight foot tall nutcracker 90 bucks these are the old cruddier ones i never really liked any of these kind of wireframe type things they just don't look right at all This elf one here is not too bad. I like the joy sign made out of the ornaments. And of course, only in Florida, you get the flamingos and the peacock. Those look kind of nice. Or stuff like this that you see at Michael's. You know, they have all of the cranberry reeds. Some of these are very, I like this. This is very countryish right here. And another kind of nostalgic one with the old red pickup and the poinsettia wreath. So now you have these Bijo collection of made by Lumations. These are like icicles and garlands and all that kind of very cool looking warm colors. Also, we picked up a nice haul at Lowe's here and I did get that wreath finally too. I got two of these. They're $19.99. I'm going to see how these look. They look pretty cool. Nice and mirrored. So anyway, I hope you liked this video, and if you do, hey, do us a favor, please give us a thumbs up down below. That tells us that you like us. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, man, you see the high quality 
tool reviews and shop with me in the stores that we do for you and all of the home remodeling and the engineering disasters that we help you repair yourself and save hundreds of dollars so go ahead and click on that subscribe button down below and then when you do that make sure you click that little gray bell icon next to it that tells youtube to alert you every time we upload a new video well anyway thanks for joining us on this one folks and we will see you on the next one